If you're ready to push your home network to the next level, Wi-Fi 7 routers bring serious firepower. With support for massive bandwidth, lower latency, and new technologies like multi-link operation, Wi-Fi 7 isn't just an upgrade, it's the future. In this router shootout, we're pitting two Wi-Fi 7 routers against each other, diving into how they performed across the 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz bands. Hey everyone, I'm Alejandro, reviewer and broadband expert here at Broadband Now. Today, we're digging into Wi-Fi 7 router speeds and how they compare across all the major bands. Whether you're considering one of these routers, or just want a sense of what Wi-Fi 7 can really do, we've got you covered. Be sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our broadband guides and router reviews. Here's a quick overview of the contenders. The Archer BE550 is a great entry point for Wi-Fi 7. It's decently priced and features a clean, tower-style form factor with no external antennas. Internally, it's powered by a 2.2 GHz quad-core processor with 512 MB of RAM, supporting tri-band BE9300 speeds. You get access to 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and the coveted 6 GHz band, which boosts stability and reduces interference. There are 5 2.5 GB Ethernet ports, an absolute win at this price, and easy mesh support means you can expand coverage with additional nodes later on. On the other hand, we have the RS700S, which is Netgear's flagship Wi-Fi 7 monster, and it shows. This beast supports BE19000 speeds across three bands, driven by a high-end processor and ultra-wide 320MHz channels on a 6GHz band. You also find one 10 gigabit WAN port and four 10 gigabit LAN ports, making it ideal for multi-gigabit home internet or large file transfers. It stands tall, literally. And while it's not winning any awards for subtlety, the performance speaks volumes. Let's look at how each router performed across all three Wi-Fi bands during our in-home testing. For context, we tested both routers in a 700 square foot apartment. Routers were placed in the living room. Each band of the router was tested at different distances, near the router at 5 feet, in the bedroom at 15 feet, and in the closet on the far side of the apartment at 20 feet. There are two walls between the router and the closet. We tested the routers using the 1 gigabit internet plan from Google Web Pass, selecting the Google Web Pass server when doing speed tests on speedtest.net to keep speeds consistent across the board. We recorded much higher upload speeds than download speeds on both routers, which is likely due to the internet connection. While neither router was being pushed to the limits while testing, the internet was being used as usual to represent a real-world scenario. Finally, when testing, we performed three tests for each band at the three various distances for a total of 27 tests per router. The BE550 handled multi-device traffic smoothly. Here's how it measured up on average. When near the router, we recorded download speeds of 108 megabits on a 2.4 gigahertz band, 492 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 547 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. As for upload speeds, we captured speeds of 86 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 918 on the 5 gigahertz band, and 933 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. Speeds did drop at 15 feet away, with average download speed of 62 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 425 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 294 on the 6 gigahertz band. We clocked average upload speeds of 15 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 751 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 928 on the 6 gigahertz band. We saw the biggest drop off in speeds at 20 feet away, which makes sense considering the interference caused by the two walls. When it came to download speeds, we documented average speeds of 49 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 345 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 246 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. As for uploads, we noted speeds of 3.7 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 419 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 692 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. With tri-band support and five 2.5 gigabit ports, the BE550 is a strong value choice for large households and streaming heavy homes. The router offered better download speeds on the five gigahertz band, which is less likely to be affected by interference. The six gigahertz band provided higher upload speeds than any other band, which is not surprising. While the faster speeds on a five gigahertz band can't be ignored, the six gigahertz band offers the faster 320 megahertz channel, increasing the lanes of bandwidth for a less congested network. This is the best band for connecting multiple high-use devices that might otherwise clog up the network. The RS700S is built for raw speed, and our tests showed just how fast it can move data, especially on the 6 GHz band. When closest to the router, the RS700S delivered speeds of 122 megabits on the 2.4 GHz band, 585 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 872 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. We clocked upload speeds of 123 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 896 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, 
and also 896 megabits on a 6 gigahertz band. Further away in the bedroom, we captured speeds of 152 megabits on a 2.4 gigahertz band, 503 megabits on a 5 gigahertz band, and 694 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. On the 2.4 gigahertz band, we recorded speeds of 64 megabits, 895 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and also 895 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. On the far end of the apartment 20 feet away, we noted speeds of 134 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 427 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 512 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. We also documented upload speeds of 46 megabits on the 2.4 gigahertz band, 754 megabits on the 5 gigahertz band, and 782 megabits on the 6 gigahertz band. Delivering the fastest and most consistent speeds across all three bands, the Netgear Nighthawk R700S proved to be the better router. The 6 gigahertz band really blew us out of the water with speeds very close to the 1 gigabit max. This router is ideal for power users, gamers, or anyone moving large files regularly. Just keep in mind its bulky footprint and premium price tag. The BE550 is a solid and affordable Wi-Fi 7 router, putting the latest Wi-Fi technology within reach for most households. With speeds that surpass 500 megabits per second on the two fastest bands, the TP-Link router showed it's got some speed, but nowhere near the speed that we saw with the superior RS700S. Sure, some of that comes down to the inconsistency of speed tests, which can provide vastly different results within minutes of each other. Yet, we conducted enough tests with each router that we believe it averaged out in the end. It's clear that the Nighthawk RS700S is the better, faster router, and it's got a price tag to match. Though both routers will get you Wi-Fi 7, if you want the fastest download speeds in your home, whether you're near the router or two rooms away, there's only one clear choice, and it's the RS700S. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Broadband Now and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next video. Drop us a comment and let us know what you thought of this video, and if you have any suggestions for future videos. See you next time.